Right, yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, I'm uh, going fishing the weekend. I've got some cod. It's cod season, and apparently, this is the best bait you can get for for cod. This cart is made of the um, um, insides of it, brown crab, edible crab. What parts I don't know. It stinks. It's sticky. It's horrible. So I'm gonna, if I've got any chance of getting my hands near the old woman tonight, I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on. Um, because she ain't gonna like it. <laughs> um, let me put these on. I use, well, I use, with all my fishing, Castaway PVA. It says PVA. It's not PVA. It's bait guard system, similar to the Fox Armor mesh and things like that. When I'm going catfishing and that, I stuff it for the squid or if, I'm, if I've got some on hounds, some manky old crab, just stuff it in there and make a, make a crab. It just stays in, it doesn't go. It's brilliant stuff, it's cheap as well. And there's seven meters on there, not five meters as you get on the others. So right, what I've got to do is 22 mil. So I've got to chop the bait down to 22 mil size, comes in a tube, push it in there. And with this as well, you get a little plunger, push the plunger down, compact it right up, push it through. bait but I like to do it wrap it twice so it lasts a bit longer so push that back through put it back in a second time plunger that's now double that's now double wrapped it's horrible doing with those can't feel nothing That is now a lovely bait. It's double wrapped. That's what a single wrap one looks like. You can still see it through. So you can tell the difference. That's why I like to double wrap it. It lasts longer. Because this does wash out quite quick. So that's what I do. Do another one quickly. Make sure you tie a knot back in the, the end of your thing. You can use fin finger bandage and everything like that. But when you buy a finger bandage from the shop, it might be cheaper, but you don't get it in the tube. And you don't get this. It does help. So whack that back in there. Push it down. I'm doing this at work because uh, I ain't allowed to do it at home. If you could smell, then you'd know why. Chuck that back through. Do the hole again. I don't actually know why the cod love it so much, but like around here, like local to where I am in Kent, you don't really use it on the boats, but you go and you go like a little bit further afield. And the cod love it. Um, like I know down at Bristol, Bristol and a place like Mersey and all that lot, it's a killer bait. An absolute killer. I've been told where I'm going the weekend, I need it. So I'll just thread a load of blacks up the line or something, and then I'll put that at the bottom. Just fish it like a normal peeler crab. Um, jobs are good. One. I reckon that the red out it is. This is, this is what I've heard, whether it's true or not. The redder it is, the better it is. You can see there's all the bits of crab in there. and It's oily. It's, it, I bought it as a block. Um, I think they can buy them from the tackle shop in like tubes that are already in 22 mil tubes. So you just push them out and then push them straight in, uh, in, 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 into this. But obviously it's a dear way of doing it. There's like a kilo block there. Um, it's, it, it can be quite expensive buying it through the tackle shop, but it's all these little bits. I'll just shove them, make, shove them in there. Do a big one. Push it down. Wow, I can really smell that now. Smell it? it stinks, doesn't it? That's probably too big. But that's massive. Been a bit, been a bit greedy there, but I'm just showing you what I can do with all the scraps. It's not wasted. None of it will be wasted. I know someone who will cast, put, put a set of. Uh, Set five O's through there and cast that out for a cod. Name's Fish Hunter. I'm gonna check him out actually. If you're not, if you're not seeing him, I think everybody has. He's got about, he's doing really well. He's got about four thousand odd subscribers. I'm actually going fishing with him the weekend. So uh, I don't know why I've got the job of uh, doing this. You don't want that to happen. This is gonna stink now because look, it's covered in that. Like, 
covered in a thing, but then stick it in that tube and put it in your put it back in your in your tackle box with the lid, wherever the lid is somewhere. There it is. It don't smell. I just keep it in my tackle box all the time. But um, yeah, it's double wet one up. I think you get the idea of it now. Um, oh, forget it. Do another one. All these little bits, push it all back in. It does melt quick, so you've got like you've got to hurry up. Um, a bit of plastic there. Do it as soon as you've done it. Get it in the freezer quick, because you just got to keep it cool. And I'll, I'll, I'll be taking it to the to the to the venue in a in a in a flask, because um, like a cool bag like that don't really cut it. It just don't it just don't last very long. But literally, you got you got to do it fresh. Get it out there. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. It stinks, mate. It proper stinks. I wish you could smell it. Not horrible smell. It's just potent. It's, it's well, it's edible crab. So basically, you could eat this stuff. Not that I'd want to. But that's all it is, there's nothing, um, it stinks. It smells similar to like a, like, like, like a carp bait. Like a, I don't know, like a, like a squid and krill boilie or something like that. It's just, it's just that funny smell. Oh, it's starting to defrost now. Yeah, you can see it is. See, I'm uh, Makes it more difficult to put in. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one in half. Do that one and a half. Makes some small ones. I've been a bit greedy, You're trying to get away with bigger ones, but I ain't gonna do it, so. That's the sort of bait that I'm gonna be fishing. I know that the cod ain't taking big baits, so a lot of them are coming to that sort of single, single uh, lug worm. Juices are coming out of it. But yeah, that's what I want. When you get good and you're not filming, you just smash them out and get them done. Get them in the freezer quickly. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you Saturday. Hopefully, out the rig them on the hook, and hopefully with a big fat cod hanging on the end of it. Cheers. <laughs>